<laughs> hey guys uh, welcome to well, the itch welcome to the itch tonight we have greg our third co-host last Woo! week he was gone but he'll be a Suck regular a i'm back he's back he's, i was never gone but i'm back yeah um tonight we're doing a full blood podcast blood so get your tampons ready and get ready to settle down with us while we listen <laughs> and talk about blood you gotta soak that blood. shit up <laughs> you, you. <laughs> So loud, and we're gonna have to edit. <laughs> Sean, Sean, just for the audience, why we're laughing is he's yelling mouth directly. He doesn't mouth. know how to just speak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny. I'm Even having in... trouble controlling the volume of my voice yes. and where you put your face in accordance to the mic. Yeah. I like to be very close <laughs> to things. We know. <laughs> um, so okay, let's, so blood, so all things blood rituals, blood serial killers, blood yes. magic. Um, you know, anyone who's really into blood, pretty much, we're going to be covering tonight. So first off, we have probably one of my favorite serial killers. Uh, by favorite, I mean like he's really sick. You're interested in him. interested in. He's a terrible person, though. Of course, um, he's the vampire of Dusseldorf, Peter Curtin. Mm. Petey. Yes. Yeah, so he, one of his, his famous quotes, so I'll start from the end of his life, right? His famous quote is he's about to be executed by guillotine and they ask him to say something, right? His last words. And he says, tell me after my head has been chopped off, will I still be able to hear at least for a moment, the sound of my own blood gushing from the stump of my neck? Mm. That would be all the pleasure to end all pleasures. So you come in his pants. Yes, but he he's not, came wait, a lot. But just by just by the sight and visualizing sight, blood, sight of blood, the and gush. that'll come up later. Like the gush of blood got him. A lot of things made this man come rock hard. Yeah, and come. Yeah, he's also the one that said his favorite uh, method of coming was from a soft penis. Oh, flaccid soft penis come. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> um, okay. Wait. So wait. You can. Yes. He wanted to know if he could hear. Yes. And after, so he could come to his own death. Just it'd be the greatest pleasure just to be able yeah, to hear his to own top, blood. Just to top it off. Right. Yeah. Just to top the off end this. of a saga. Yeah. Just that. Just going out. Yeah. Coming hard. And actually, science proves that you can still hear. That so pretty, that trips me out. Yeah. He did definitely come in his pants. Yeah. I don't know if can he you come if your head's not attached to your body. I don't think body? you can. Maybe well, maybe he was able to send a signal to his flash this of penis. Shit transcends mm. nerve endings, dude. Got it. See, that's he, the thing. The only thing that can travel through time and space is love and come. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So we have the end of his life. Let's go to the beginning of his life. Obviously, terrible childhood. Eldest of 13 children. He was born in 1883 in Germany, which right. will be a theme of this podcast because sick, sick people, the Germans. I'm German. Um, he, his father would beat all the children and beat and rape and beat the, his mom in front of all the 13 kids. Rape, not rape, rape the front. children or rape no, no, the no. mother? Okay. He later would molest... The daughters, but mm. yeah, he's Sounds sexually like a wholesome family, wholesome family life. So it's Germany, obviously, <laughs> Germany. you know, <laughs> yeah. he kind of ran away and he, he was at this rip. So there's this famous story of Pierre Curtin that he, they were boating down the river, him and two friends, and he pushed one of his friends off as they were all playing and was watching him drown. So he's nine years old, Pierre Curtin. He's watching his friend drown. And another other boy in the boat jumps in to save the other boy. When he's trying to like bring the kid up, he holds the kid's head underwater, effectively killing both of them. Oh, he Whoa. actually killed them. Killed. So one of them would be manslaughter because he pushed them off and he drowned. Second one, he held the dude, the kid's head underwater. So this is nine-year-old Peter Curtin. Just getting down what with it. Fucking champion. Nine yeah. years old. It was. It was. Did... It was clear. That it was an accident. You know. Mm, I was oh yeah. Say. Yeah, nineteen hundreds police were like, "Oh, it's an accident." Yeah, I mean, a nine year old kid, right? Like, they oh, wouldn't they expect a nine year old kid to to drown his two yeah. friends on a boat. And they're like, "What is all that cum doing on your pants?" <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Well, Johnny fell in the <laughs> lake, and I held Johnny him down." Johnny was blowing me in before he drowned. <laughs> uh, um, okay, so 
He goes to war. This is a big part of his story. He goes to the military. He leaves, deserts, and goes to prison, I believe, for a couple years for, you know, leaving the military. Um, a lot of his trauma. He did this extensive interview with a psychiatrist, and he would barely talk about war? prison. Like, he talked about everything, but in prison, he was the only time he got, like, choked up. So... Whatever. Something happened. He was tortured. A lot of his crimes later were said to be to like get back at society because of how he was treated. Wait, so um, he was a deserter during World War One. One, yes. And why you'd think that a, a murderer mm-hmm. would enjoy he something like that? Does, no, he does not like uh, authority figures. Oh, he was being told to kill. Oh. Couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they probably were weirded out if he was coming all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> he's, just, he's just smelling <laughs> blood all the, all the fucking time. Oh yeah, he really had intimidating. No yeah. Quite intimidating to the. You know, yeah, I, I just kill you and just oh, you see him. Just, oh, oh, and you're like, I, oh, I don't, I don't know how you can focus. Oh, yeah. When, yeah, when you're constantly coming in your pants, there's blood everywhere, so he's probably just losing his mind. Um, so later he, he gets out of jail. Um, he's always been violent, and so one of his first crimes that like went to the next level was he found a young girl above an inn in 1913. Um, she's asleep in bed. And he goes and he kills her. I think he strangled her. And then they blamed her uncle. Cause, so, like, the whole thing happened. Her uncle went to jail for hell long, but then got dismissed. So that was his first kill. He didn't get blamed. The uncle of the kid gets blamed. That would happen a lot throughout his life. Is he just gets why, away with everything. Why the fuck is nobody blaming Peter? So he, It's 1900. Yeah, but he's a cool. very well-dressed sociopath in general. With cum stains on his fucking he, pant legs. Yeah, he kept it very clean. Juice. He was very clean, specifically very dapper, and women liked him. Mm. Uh, he was smooth He was smooth talking. He could probably get out of shit. Mm-hmm. He was like, constable, unhand me. <laughs> <laughs> he was German. He a very expensive suit. Oh, there's cum stains all over it. <laughs> Sir, there's cum stains all over your shirt. <laughs> that doesn't mean I killed her. <laughs> uh, um, so he liked to kill little girls. Mm. Um, we'll get to the blood here soon. I know you guys are chomping at the bit. I'm, it- I'm, I'm itching. Itching? Itching. Um, itching. So I'm not, I'm not going to go chronologically, but he killed a little girl named Rosa Ollinger, stabbed her three Rosa. times, and then put her under a hedge. Uh, later, he recalled having had an orgasm at the height of the attack. So this is one of the first times he realizes... He's like, ooh. Yeah, he likes yeah. it. First time there was like a sexual reaction yeah. to it. After he killed her, he went back and tried to light her body on fire. And he was plan was to go across the street to like watch the police investigate it. Like, oh, he loved so he's, ki- he's kind of like a BTK in a way. Yes, yeah, so he liked... He, Liked that people couldn't find out it was him. He liked to watch. The, the he liked chase, to go back to yeah. the crime. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, she he stabbed another girl twenty four times and she survived. Um, he fuck? would just it was he was just so fucking violent. Um, he like so he was like a rage killer. Right, but like calculated rage, I'd call it. So like he there's two girls. He asked one of them to go get a cigarette. So this five year old stays with him. The other girl, 14, goes to buy him cigarettes. Once she's out of sight, he strangles her, slits her throat, and then when the other girl came back, he grabbed her, dragged her off the path, strangled, and almost decapitated her with a pocket knife. With a pocket knife? Pocket knife. Like with a Swiss army knife? Yeah. German army knife. The fuck? Oh, yeah. Um, And then, (laughs) from this murder, he mailed a map to a local newspaper showing where her body could be found. She had been stabbed thirty-five times. Oh, see, he so loved he loved there. people not being able to catch him yes. and, and watching people investigate. And he got cocky. Like later on, he, he was famous. Like after some murders, he went into this spree of because he just liked crime. Like he liked to set things on fire. He would come to that, um, but he would walk, run down the street, and hit people in the head with a hammer and like run off or stab someone three times and run off. Like he was just a menace, and he liked. Creating violence. He loved, he liked chaos. He loved chaos, but one of his favorite things is he'd stab him in the temple mm. and he just loved the spurts of blood. He'd cover his face and like that's what I mean, that's the intense soft penis orgasm. Mm. Just getting come down yeah, with blood. He liked the sound. The sound. It's the sa- yeah, it's there's a, usually some type of trigger 
that that gets them going and gets them aroused and fucking makes them nut in their mm-hmm. pants. And, and it's either the sight of the gush yeah. or the sound of the, you yeah. know what I mean? And, which also sounds like cum. <laughs> hey. No, he liked getting blood cummed on him. Yeah. And it yeah, would cause like, him oh, to cum. He's, um, he's just returning the favor. So to speak. Yeah, he's like, yeah. oh, thanks. Here's another really good story. <laughs> this one's fun. So this woman... Domestic servant, unemployed, walking home at night. She meets a man on a way to a boarding house. Um, he says, you can stay with me. Um, he's showing her the way. They're walking, but he goes in like a different way. And she starts to realize, like, why are we going to this deserted park? She becomes worried because she heard her newspaper stories about the vampire Dusseldorf. Began arguing with him and then began fighting. So suddenly, luckily, a second man intervened on her behalf and rescued her from the first man. Uh, that man would be Peter Curtin. Oh, oh wait, wait. So the okay. rescuer was yeah. Peter. So, yeah. this random <laughs> oh, dude no. who, was, her. who was well, just trying to k- take a shortcut through the fucking hedge head bushes. Pete's uh, there. Pete's been waiting. Like you know, she's like, "Oh fuck you! You're Peter Curtin." He's like, "No, I'm not. I'm just well, trying." I don't to... know his name at the yeah, time. Okay, but... well, you're the vampire of fucking yeah. Dusseldorf, and and then this dude comes up and he's like, "I will save you, madam." Yeah. <laughs> And that's motherfucking... That man. That's Peter, Peter Curtin. Yeah. The man that that's saved her from savage. the first man. That's yeah. a double whammy. Ooh. That's an unlucky... That's a, un- that's so fucking I think unlucky. If you, if you end up in a situation like that, you're supposed to die. Yeah, I think she's meant to die. Yeah. Actually, she didn't. He Something took her back to his here. apartment. Always, always wrong. His <laughs> wife was away for the night. When he took her back, he tried to have sex with her, but she said no. So she's like, I'm going to stay somewhere else, you fucking creep. Why are there cum all over your fucking pants? And so he grabs before he he lets her go. He grabbed her by the neck and raped her before leading her back to the tram and letting her go free. Asked later why he had not killed her. He said, I had no intention of killing her as she she offered no resistance. Mm. Oh. He liked a little fight in his Yeah. So later, this would be part of his demise. Like, she was so traumatized, but eventually she was able to, like, she couldn't even look at him, but like that's what kind of what caught him. Um, Blood part of it is that he just like he was a yeah. major fan of yes. the like watching them bleed out, and that's mm-hmm. why he stabbed people like fucking thirty five times. Yeah, and he, and he liked that initial that spurt. The initial stab was the best, right? I Pressurized him, blood. I imagine him like kept continuing to try to get the same effect like thirty five yeah. times, like chasing Ugh. the dragon. Yeah, Ugh. and then what's cool about him is he like shared everything with a psychiatrist for years so there's a book called the sadist which is like it detailed everything about his life every crime every minute of it it's fucking disgusting what? like if you read this is just barely touching the surface what he actually did to these women and these little girls is some next level what's his count he's only convicted of nine and seven attempted murders he's mm. convicted but there's yeah, it's the 1900s. Yeah. Thought to be many more. Early 1900s. Yeah. People disappear all the time, especially yeah. Germany. Yeah, they're just like, oh, they just ran away. Yeah. Where's, I, where's the city? First, I thought, hey, this guy's kind of a pussy, right? Seven attempted? That's almost scarier. How do you attempt yeah. and fail? But, well, he, like, didn't care. Oh, he's just like, fuck it. No fight in that. He bitch. would run up to someone. He, oh, yeah, there's one. So, so he was hollering at her, you know, cat calling. Mm. And he's like, what's up, girl? And she's like, uh, over my dead body, and he goes, "I guess you'll die then," or some shit. He's like, "You'll die." You die. Runs up and fucking hits her over the head with a fucking hammer. Mm. That's some fucking hardcore shit. Yeah, dude. Imagine he just, take no dude f- just walks around with does hammers. Does not yeah. take no for this an answer. Just walking around with hammers and knives and waiting for someone to piss him off mm. and just chasing him down, stabbing you three times and running off. Coming the whole time. Yeah. Just yeah. Just come. Imagine just living Everywhere. in that town. The small town of Dusseldorf, and there's, a, oh, there's chicks, you know, little girls being killed. If you go on the street, you may have the potential to be stabbed ten times. Hmm. That sounds about right. That's. It sounds cool. about yeah. Like every town. Yeah, that's yeah. every, every town, town in the 1900s. To... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just gave this guy. He just like he just came, which made him a little more unique. Yeah. yeah I, I think he, you know, I I don't I don't know what it was about the fucking liquid blood that's mm-hmm. just gushing. Yeah, out of these wounds that mm-hmm. made him that or gave him so much arousal. Yeah, I'm still, so I'm he, be- he drank a little bit of blood, but he wasn't like a you know it was more the the gushing of the blood. 
So I, you have someone that's a little more bloodthirsty. Okay. So I'm pretty sure all of you have heard of the Countess Elizabeth Bathory. Of course. Oh, well. <laughs> no. I mean, yeah. no surprises. Okay. So, okay, basically, this is back in the 16 fucking hundreds, man. Yeah. And uh, so she was married to, to a count, obviously, and, uh, hu- and this is in Hungary, and they went to war. So he was like, hey, while I'm at war, could you, like, watch over the castle? And she's like, okay, babe, I'm just fucking, yeah. you know, I'm just Direct kicking. Quote. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what she Direct said. Quote. That's cool. So, but what fucking uh, Elizabeth, let's just call her Beth, hmm. what she ended up doing was she became obsessed with... Uh, preserving her youth so basically what she did is she abducted a bunch of um young women to serve as her servants right Mm -hmm. and she fucking she just kill them and fill a tub full of blood and just fucking just relax bathe in it just so how many women does it take to fill a tub of blood i wonder seven and a half seven and a half that's the exact 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 you know that I why, why, why do you know that? We're not talking about. All right, on to the next about, one. We're talking about Beth. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me out. But like, uh, no, she she did keep her skin supple, but she not only do that, she fucking burn hands. Mm. Uh, she would cover people dead with, hands. No, live hands. Like, she'd just be like, fuck, fuck you. Your fucking yeah, hands are burning. Sadist. Mm. Just, yeah, she's a sadist. She would cover them with honey and sick fire ants on them. Shit like that, mm. dude. And so, I mean, she was arrested. She was arrested once uh, all these people started talking and the king of Hungary was just like, well, whatever, you know, like not really paying attention. So she got away with this for quite a while. Um, The victims were 10 to 14 years old. The daughters of local peasants. Mm. They come in, they're lured and they're like, yeah fucking we'll give you putting you we'll give you work to do yeah. and then fucking he oh wait here so no one at any point was like none of our daughters are coming home yeah no of course okay, okay. Of eventually because back in the day people would just fucking give away their children yeah. so it might be years before they even like mm. oh it's like three years Apparently, later and they're like huh maybe she should have visited to feed right well yeah. beth could have been like well i sold that bitch off to the yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's just so it's just like they're trying to get rid of some some daughters. Elizabeth's fucking buying, you know. And uh, it, what what blood type are they? You know, red, <laughs> red. So I mean, as long as they were young, I'm sure that she didn't care. Ultimately, she just wants to bathe in some young blood, keep her skin nice and supple, for whoever the guy that left. Did he ever come back for more? So that uh, is there. Any idea? Like, where did she get the idea that blood would keep her skin you, and stuff? You know what? I, I do, it does not there's say. There's no, like, blood ritual. But there's, it's probably in mm-hmm. a satanic Bible. Yeah. Or just an apothecary. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, you know, like we were talking about last uh, week yeah. with the, the witch fucking... Doctors the witch shit. doctors are just like, sacrifice a human and your yeah. fucking bricks will be red. Like, like, people just do that. Yeah. That's how, I mean, my skin's so nice. Right. Yeah, I know. That's how my skin's fucking... <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty smooth. Huh? It's pretty, uh, it's <laughs> what else, pretty uh, What else? Anything else on her? Uh, you know, it's that... We're, we got past the meat, you know? Uh, she she was sentenced to prison. You oh, wait, know, so, and, so she ended up getting caught. She, yeah, she ended up getting caught. Well, the king, well, this is what happened. So many people were telling the king... My uh, girl's are fucking gone. fine. His na- name doesn't matter. The king of Hungary. They're like, hey. So one concerned dad was like, hey, I gave away my daughter and she's fucking gone. Hold on. He's concerned after. Once you give your kid away, you lose the right well, to be concerned. Uh, you know, some of the parents were like, hey, uh, I want to, you know, check and see how they're doing. I made a mistake. And then, and then, oh, I, you know, uh, I can't see her right now. She's uh, preoccupied. And then, yeah. and then after a while. They started catching on, and then they started bringing this to the king. The king was like, not right now. Yeah. And then fucking eventually, he fucking went and got her, and boom! Bathtub full of fucking blood. Any idea on the count of victims? So, dude, it, 100? Like, yeah, are we yeah. talking, like, it's, insane? 
It's, I mean, if they got if it got the king's attention, she was probably putting up some some serious numbers, triple digits. Yeah, yeah. no, she she. Was, and that's again, how many? What, what's the, there's like a certain there's like something quartz of blood in your body? Three. I mean, it's three point seven five. I'm just kidding. You I don't, don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> well, they they do say that uh, testimony of more than three hundred witnesses and survivors. So, holy shit! I think she was just. Oh. Survivors, survivors. Yeah. yeah. So, what, did she have some like prime meat chicks that like she well, because, would bleed? So she's getting servants alive? sent to her castle and shit, right? Or wherever. The, so, oh, 600, 650 was the highest count of victims. No way. I believe well, it. Well, I mean, this is this is back in the day where they don't fucking know anything. Well, <laughs> and you're going into town, this big poor village. Like, I need thirty servants. Yeah. There's thirty right there. Yeah, oh, she was filling up a pool of blood. And yeah, that's fucking. It takes a little bit more than seven and a half. I know because she's got a king size fucking bathtub. Mm. Ooh, I didn't take that into equation. Didn't take that into fucking consideration, Greg. Next time, I'll get more fucking you know, rude. information first. I mean, the, my 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 tub is, you know, whatever. But <laughs> she also had epilepsy, uh-huh. possibly stemming from inbreeding. You know how fucking. Oh yeah, the Everybody royalty. They all, they fuck, all each other. Just fuck. Yeah, yeah, they fuck each Gotta other. Keep that blood pure. Uh, and so right. this was the initial, <laughs> you know, blood might cure my epilepsy and make my skin oh. supple. You know, make my tits perk perky. Nice. Yeah, make them pop. Make them pop out. Yeah. Make my vagina smell fresh. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, uh, yeah, do you guys want another sure one? Go for it. Shoot one in. Fire yeah. away. All right, let's just keep firing, huh? Yeah. I can't pronounce his name, but I'll just try. Suratomo. Suratomo. Miyazaki. <laughs> Known as, great name, by the way. Known as the little girl killer. I mean, to Ooh. the point. Oof. Just, yes, uh, I assume he kills yeah. little girls. So, if we're talking about <laughs> another culture that can compete with Germany on just sadistic, fucked up culture, Japan. 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 Yeah. Japan. Yeah. No, they're worse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they're still killing each other. Yeah. Suicide yeah. motherfucking, you know, pilots and shit. All right, that was a long time ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> this Japanese serial killer mutilated and murdered four little girls in from 88 to 89. Um, his youngest victim was four, the oldest seven. He molested their corpses and drank the blood of one victim, also eating her hands. Her, her he, hands? Her Prime. hands. He Prime. then terrorized the families of all four victors, sending them letters and postcards where he described his crimes. Oh. Dude. Yeah, also Savage. may have called their houses, never repented. Um, Wait, what? When did this happen? What? How? How long ago was this? This was in eighty nine. He was sentenced to death in ninety seven, and executed in two thousand eight. Oh shit! This yeah. is recent. We're, yeah, mm-hmm. I was gonna say calling people. I was just stuck with Beth back then. Yeah. So this dude, yeah, nothing on his background. Just that's what he did. Drank the blood of one of his victims. At four to seven years old, youngest four, oldest seven. Yeah. How? How many victims? Four in oh. one year. <laughs> Pretty good. I mean. <laughs> And well, the crazy part is that he was like fucking calling the people, sending yeah, them prank postcards, call, prank calling. They're like, yeah, that bitch bled so much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's yeah, fucked up. So there's He's the, like, is your refrigerator running? I don't get it. Well, you better go catch it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he terrorized them with bad jokes. <laughs> 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 Decent, you know, terrorize us with yeah, that was scary. Uh, yeah but there's like serial killers that like Dahmer Nielsen that like they do it because they have to in order to fulfill like this crazy sexual fantasy um, but they have remorse it's kind of like a lot of them have borderline personality they aren't mm-hmm. like bold but this is like oh yeah, yeah I just felt like doing no it. Yeah. yeah and no I kind of like that I'm gonna you know he's it's just like, like he's just an asshole yeah, you he's probably some more sort of a sociopath. A hundred percent a sociopath. Yeah. Narcissist. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Probably thought he was smart. Yeah, he was smarter than everyone else. Mm-hmm. I, so I know some people like that. Don't look at me. I am. <laughs> I am um, here, another one that you guys you have to. There's two on here that are very famous, but Andre Chikatilo, oh. one of the most famous. He's known as the Rostav Ripper, and the Shelter Belt Killer. <laughs> <laughs> Andre Chikatilo claimed oh, his first victim, a nine-year-old girl, 
in 78 and would go on to kill 52 more. And this is in 78 that he started? Mm Mm-hmm. He evaded capture for 15 years. Mutilation of the eyes and complete or partial removal of the sexual organs became his two signatures of his grisly crimes. Mm. He targeted adolescent boys and girls, often raping and cannibalizing them, them, as well as drinking their blood. Ooh. I just don't... I, what, what do you do with the parts? You keeping them to fuck later, or... Just throwing them out, you know? Oh, <laughs> just I gotta, get, out I gotta get rid of those. I gotta cut those off. Oh, yeah. Shit. yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's, yeah. you know, he's throwing them away. It's Russia. But he wanted yeah. to cut them off. What? Yeah. But he wanted to cut them off. Yeah, but mean? keep he's, his tokens. Yeah, he cuts them off, he jerks off, he drinks their blood, you know, and throws them away and gets a new one. Mm. Yeah. That's this it. one's old. Yeah. This one's it's old. Warm. He's used that one enough. It's It smells bad. It's probably rotten. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to the elementary school and pick up another one. And th- he's more of like a... Out of it, like he's mentally insane. Because if you see pictures of him and hear him talk, it's just like he's just cr- crazy. Let me let me get a picture of him up. Yeah. Dude, yeah this dude, know, just leaking. Oh, another thing just I didn't ripping. say was in the trial they had like a cr- they had like bones of his victims. They had all this shit for Peter Curtin laid out and display and they went in detail of everything he did. Oh, he loved Dude's it. in a cage just hard as a rock. Ugh. Just coming. Like, this is reports. Like, the dude's just like loving oh, every oh, minute oh, of the trial. Oh, so, yeah. That's, yeah, they should have known better. He, yeah. And he talks about like... <laughs> That'd be funny if the judge was like, I'll have what he's having. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was yeah. a lot. Well, I mean, he's quoted to say like, uh, in, what... It excites me like a naked woman would excite a normal man. That's like um, so. It's just dude. I don't just. I don't if, just. I know. Flash and come. Yeah, but <laughs> it's like okay. I wish walked by me, I wouldn't come in my pants. Yeah, that's true. Man, that's on some next level shit. Yeah, that's yeah. Something, something. but I think he meant like the thought of it. Like, oh, that's the thought of that victim, which gets you know. It's like, oh, the thought of that chick, or, mm. or, you know. Understandable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't go that far. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> you got any more uh, blood for me? Take a break. Can we take a break? All right, let's take a little break here, boys. Alright, welcome fucking back. Woo! 
Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about that fucking Lee is her on my list. <laughs> His name is Roger fucking. Wait, <laughs> what, what's Lee is it's her who's her little bitch ass loser. That's what he was saying. He was loser, crazy. He was crazy. fucking loser. Got you. Okay, so this this fucking douchebag, right? Role playing cross into real life for vampire. Fucking Roderick Farrell. Mm. So in 1996, he was the leader of a fucking vampire clan, and and I, I'm pretty sure this guy must have been in like seventh grade, and we're like drinking ketchup packets. <laughs> the blood. But he was just like, all right, they, uh, a fellow clan brought followers from Murray, Kentucky, to use this. Where else? Florida. Oh, uh, fucking Florida. 76, yeah. you said? Oh, my God. No, it was a good year. And then to murder the parents of his girlfriend, Heather, so she could be initiated into the coven. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big honor. Big honor. All right. So, I mean, basically, uh, he beat Heather's father with a crowbar. Nice. And Farrell and well one played. of his vampire buddies burned cigarettes. Uh, they couldn't. V. They couldn't fucking come up with something better than burn, cigarettes to burn. Well, used to burn hey, him. You're or, talking about a fucking half, a five hundred year old vampire. Dude. I'm sorry, I didn't know and, we were speaking to such power. The letter V. Yeah, yeah V for, for vampire. vampire. <laughs> v as in vampire, bro. Oh, we gotta mark him so we Not. know. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking dumbass. <laughs> Upon his arrest, Farrell told police that they would not be able to to hold him for long because <laughs> I'm a 500-year-old vampire named Visago. Visago? Visago, yeah. Visago. Visago. Yeah, he's just yeah. biding his time, I guess, because, uh, I mean, he's still in yeah. prison. Well, no, he, es- he no. escaped because no. he's a vampire. No, well, no, that would be beneath yeah. him. That would be beneath him. Is that what he said? Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, Farrell became the country's youngest prisoner on death row in 1998, though his sentence has recently committed to life in prison. Wait, wait, he's still he's still in there without the without the possibility of I'm, parole. I'm still confused. So he's just biding his time. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he has a he plan. could break out at any time any because time. he's 500 years old and he's any time. He's Visago. Well, that's obvious. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He is just the most badass person I've ever fucking talked yeah. about in my life, dude. Yeah. We're talking about Curtin and Chickatillo and all these lames earlier. Uh, this this guy's a real badass. Yeah. Yeah, uh, savage. Uh, Roderick, well, that's his slave name. Uh, Visago. <laughs> Feral. Yeah. Jesus Visago. fucking cr- Oh, my God. I bet he was picked on a lot. Oh, God. He um, was like, you guys, I'll prove it to you. I'm a 500-year-old vampire. <laughs> I'll, I'll get you. You guys don't even know my powers. That's like... <laughs> okay, I was about to mention... I was about to mention names. No, it's not. <laughs> Do it! Yeah, Christian. Oh, oh, so we went of for course. it. <laughs> Christian sucks. There's, all, there's another one, too. Wait, wait, wait. So this guy, so this guy doesn't even have a real name. His name is just Caius Domitus Veovis, right? So, yes. Are you fucking? Did you I'm, shit in, your pants? I'm in. I think I, he's on the Dalaran realm. This show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good <Warcraft>. one. <laughs> if you're I had no idea what that was going on there. <laughs> if you're wondering what real life vampires think of Twilight. Oh, what look tell me. no fucking further than Caius Domitus Veovis. Big no. fans, right? Oh no. No. No, he says, Twilight fucking makes me want to vomit hot blood. <laughs> oh, what a controversial statement. <laughs> Did he say vomit hot blood? Uh, yeah. Just yes. Quote. Okay, the quote. The quote is, well, pop culture inspires me to vomit hot blood. That's his exact yeah. quote. Because like, what else is he going to vomit? Because he's a, a vampire. That's all he eats. That's all he drinks. Mm-hmm. But he did yeah. murder three men in Massachusetts. Be- and the, the Twilight quote's just random... Yeah, it's just like, oh, I'm fucking yeah. actually... Were oh. these men Twilight fans? Probably. Oh. See, Probably. that's... Probably. They're like, is that a hate crime? Team Edward. Is, it? is that a hate crime? It has to be. Well, he's fucking it's a group in of people. prison. Yep. You know, so... Um, he, could, he could keep fucking Visago company. Mm. How old's this one? 
600 uh, years old. Visago's uh, got something to fucking go against now. Oh, 600, God. 500, who's going to win that battle? Yeah. So this was in 2011. Stand trial 2014. I don't know. <laughs> He's probably 800 years old. I would guess. I would yeah. guess if I were to put a number on it. He seems a little more mature yeah. than Visago. Yeah. He's, he's just... He's very, very ultra-powerful. And hates Twilight. Yeah. And so if Because those things go hand in hand. Don't, I think don't fuck people. with him or else, or else. Yeah. Well, he'll kill you, obviously. He's exactly. got three count. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Hey, wait. The uh, Visago. Hold on. I, I got a question about Visago. Yes. Okay. He, he, you said he was the youngest person yes. to be given the death penalty. Well, the yum, youngest in human years. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Got a little laugh track on okay. that. Okay. In human years, what was his age when he was sentenced? Let me scroll up here. Oh, God. Waste you mean in slave years? It just, it just, right. it just says 500-year-old vampire. No. <laughs> the saga. <laughs> the article. That's all they yeah, got. I'm reading, I'm Dude, he's probably just stoked on that. He's probably he's like, like reading <laughs> just, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody thinks I'm so cool. Re- really quick, here's another shout out to fucking Florida because this state breeds winners. Okay, so uh, this happened in a Hooters restaurant, and it, you know you're thinking Hooters restaurant. Oh, let's go. Uh, it's a fucking vampire lair, right? Oh, and 22 year old, so she's a youngin. You know, she's uh, pretty young in terms of these 500 year old year old yeah. vampires. Uh, Josephine Smith, uh, she attacked a 69-year-old homeless man. He was sleeping in St. Petersburg, Florida, and she told the, the dude, I'm a vampire. I'm going to eat you, B- you know, big tits. She's dressed like a Hooters girl. Nice. And she, so he's probably like, you're going to yeah. eat me? Yeah, you're going to eat me, bitch. Yeah. probably just spread his butt that. cheeks after yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. She was down. Uh, butt cheeks? Yeah. No, but she had more of a hankering for face, which is, I know, a running theme in Florida. Yeah, Some the, people yeah. love to eat face. Yeah, it's a yeah. thing out there. They get high, they eat faces. Up. Josephine Smith. Uh, wait, and then, okay, so police found her, and she's like, oh, I don't know how I got covered in all of this blood. <laughs> I love, that's my favorite excuse. <laughs> right. oh, I don't know no, like, I don't know whose blood this is. <laughs> yeah, okay. I woke up like this. Okay, JoJo. <laughs> all um, right. Are you done talking about a bunch of fucking losers? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Please. Yes, yes. You mean winners, right? Yeah. Well, let's talk about. Because let's get to yeah. Let's get to the fucking winners and yeah. the killers. The biggest <laughs> winner of all time. Mm. We're talking numbers. If you consider him, it's probably up for debate whether it's a serial killer because it's done during you know time of war. Mm-hmm. But his methods are a little over the top. One might say um, aggressive. We're talking Vlad the Third Dracula. Now, if you recognize that name. Vlad the Impaler. <laughs> Vlad the Impaler. Mm, Vlad the Bram's, Terrible. When Bram Stoker wrote Dracula, it was named after after him. Mm-hmm. Um, he a long history, but he was he was like the uh, in power way back in the 1400s. Um, he led over Romania and um, Hungary and the Ottomans and all this history shit that I don't know anything about. But it was so he would his famous move is he impaled his enemies on spikes. Um, we're talking lovely 20,000. Oh, like leading he, up to his castle. Like when they would have the storms of the Ottomans or whoever's coming, he made a to, fucking like yeah. a forest. He literally they had to walk through a forest of impaled people. Like what do like, you impale it up their butthole? I was yeah, going to ask so that. that's another, through the anus out through the mouth. So he did. Yeah. I mean, he was a big fan of experimenting in torture. Um, but he would put them. That actually, sounds like kind of a good time to me. Experimenting torture. It's the name of a uh, good like uh, death metal band. Experimentations and torture. That's what Ooh. I call. That's what I call <laughs> my bedroom. Ooh. All right. <laughs> um, but uh, no, he would do things like put you while you're living. You know, impale a little bit of the butthole and just let gravity take care of the rest. Ooh. You know? Ooh. Just slow oh. through, up through the throat. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's sounds that, nice. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yep. So, so, wait, wait, wait. Would you slow? You think you'd slow? You'd slowly die. Absolutely. 
And as, as it went, it pushed your internal organs. And it would go through them and yeah. eventually just po- just tickle so the heart. Yeah, through your mouth. Eventually you'd die. I mean, you'd get the heart first, probably. Yeah. I mean, eventually well, I mean, you probably just couldn't breathe. I think that would be the... Yeah, end. or... Or you could just become toxic and septic because you can't shit. That that being said, mm. crime, almost none. All Actually, time low. Literally, probably in the history of that area, no crime because stealing was punishable by death. By, by butthole. Yeah, so... See, uh, you know, uh, the no crime thing's great and all, but using fear... Mm-hmm. To control the population, it's never really worked out. Great well idea. His, it's never really worked out very well in well, history. Fantastic I mean, if idea. your goal is no crime, it worked. I, yes, but if your goal is to be a dictator, it also I worked. I don't think he, he really gave a shit. No, he didn't. There was no. He was just like, right. no, I just. Uh, want, you're you know. a dictator. Okay. Um. Let's yeah. see that butthole. Yeah, I got a big stick that'll go up that. <laughs> um, I mean, he was famous. I mean, Pelmans is famous, but he would he. Would, would cut, he experimented. Did a lot of crazy shit, and it was all for fear. And he would splay people open, and you know, he not only did he kill twenty thousand and you know, like rivals, people in his own village, thousands upon thousands were killed. No one was safe. Yeah, you stole, you were probably impaled. Ugh. Shit, dude. I mean, it's pretty baller though. Yeah, Vlad I mean, wasn't fucking around. I mean, this is literally all these, you know, five hundred year old. The, it's based on him. Yeah. Oh he's, no. He's the OG of OG. Well, I mean, it, it evolved from there, but he's the original idea of quote of empire. The saga would be fucked. Yeah. Yeah. So we got shit on Vlad. Vlad. Yeah. So you see that, like, oh, the old castle with the gentleman in it, and like he seduces women, and that's Vlad. Mm. Yeah. Yes. That's what the people at the time saw him as. They're like, oh my god, it's like this guy up here who has. He was like a Did god Vlad player. ever soft come in his pants? Um, he's that's way beneath Vlad. He was, he was a business a, type. He's a hard killer. come outside a pant guy. Right. <laughs> oh, a hard come. Hard, hard dick, hard come outside pant. Oh, into butthole. <laughs> Just yes. Why? Why does it gotta be <laughs> the butthole? Well, because well, he know. had a fascination oh, with, with them. With stick and oh, hard sticking. Wood. Hardwood up buttholes. Phallical shaped objects inside people's buttholes. Till they die. <laughs> so it's now, safe to assume. If if you were in an opposing army and you looked up in the distance and there's 20,000 people impaled on spikes, would you walk through that? Fuck no. To fight no. for your country? <laughs> no. no. I'm considering Fuck myself a patriot. No. But... Yeah, yeah. Once I saw that, I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. no one's no one's sticking. Yeah. Anything. Once you bring butt play into it, I'm out. <laughs> That's the thing. That's like true. I'm okay with dying at war, but yeah. like butt play to death. Yeah, not my thing. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> so you know speak. what I mean. <laughs> so, that's just that's just the tip of the penis. Uh, that's yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, thanks, Greg. Sorry. He's a big Greg, fan of Greg, slamming drinks yeah, on the table. Greg while we're really recording. does. Yeah. My awareness is lacking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh shit! Yep. Personal taking personal calls during um, podcast time is punishable by impalement. Do the butt. Well, great. Well, some of your uh, your boot was filled with blood at once, right? Your... I had a boot that I filled with blood. <laughs> the end. The end. Cool. Moving on. <laughs> I've, I've got a I've got a couple. I've got a well, couple. Well, we didn't. <laughs> Do you, you want, want to hear, hear the wow? The boot was filled with blood. Oh, I thought I thought we were moving on. Oh, okay, sorry, Greg. <laughs> no, oh, okay, a blood story of Greg. I was a young man, growing up tough in the streets. I had a dirt bike. I would go riding quite often. One day, I rode that dirt bike up a hill off a jump, and she came sideways on me, flipped out, and I went down hard. And the peg, no. So the peg, I was riding my dirt bike, and the peg, the peg went through my leg, and it bounced off the old femur. The peg, mm. the bike, you know, the peg got stuck in my leg, and I didn't know what was going on. My friend comes and pulls the bike off of my Not, leg. Uh, yeah. Huh. Not advisable. No, don't do that. I didn't know. I didn't know this okay. thing was stuck in my leg. Punctured an artery, probably. Yeah, just, it nicked it. Peter Curtin would be coming oh, really God. hard. I was pretty close, too. Oh, to uh, coming? <laughs> to coming? No, no. Oh, okay. No, but I was, uh, yeah, yeah. I would, I was actually kind Absolutely. of hysterical. 
at that point. Because okay, so the, my my buddy pulls the bike off my leg, and it's 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 pulling me out of my leg. Oof. <sighs> it was quite the sight. And then my buddy turned around and threw up. What because he's yeah, what a fucking bitch. You're just sitting there with a I, hole in your leg. He's throwing. Yeah, up. no, he <sighs> turned around and puked, and I was I laughed at him. I was, still wasn't really. I think I was, I might have been in shock. Might have. Yeah. I might have been in shock. <laughs> a little guys. bit of shock. So, uh, so anyway, I bled, uh, you know, it nicked, it ch- it, it kind of cut my, uh, the, what is that, femoral artery? Yeah, that one. Yeah, cut it, and then I was wearing a dirt bike boot, and then I got bandaged up, kind of went down the hill, and then I took the motorcycle boot off, and it was full of blood, and, you know, Jesus. I dumped, you know, I drank it, and then I was like, hey boy, shots off for everyone. Shots. Fucking shots everywhere. Shots, shots, shots. And shot. then I turned green, and I almost passed out and died, and then I had to give me blood. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You turned green. Yeah, I was in. The, I was in the ambulance, and I it's turned green. green. You guys, come on! I'm not a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you a fucking zombie? Uh, <laughs> no, I turned green. I don't know. I was dying, and then, and then, okay. and then they had to give me some blood transfusions. You know, Jesus. Yeah, it was pretty. Uh, it was fantastic. That's pretty gnarly. <laughs> that's that's actually more yeah, gnarly yeah, than that's mine. Really oh. gnarly. And then, and then it was, I had to, you know, they had to staple me up, close me up and everything. And so oh, it looked like you have a, a vagina on your thigh. Straight up. I have pictures of it. It looks like a, a fucking. Big gaping vagina. Just gaping ass Checks vagina. Out. Yeah. It's all. It checks out. I, it's on my leg. And I'm trying two. to fuck yeah. it all the time. Yeah. Oh. That makes two. Two. Yeah. <laughs> gaping vaginas on your body. <laughs> oh. Okay. Back to what I was saying. I tried, I. You know, my dad's got pictures. I don't want to see them. Right. Right, well, I'll put them up on. Later. I'll put them up on the uh, the old website. Mm-hmm. Drop dead flicks, you know. Okay, mm. I'm best lore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. So I mean, I have a couple. I have a sex story uh, and a what? What? Uh, go on. Okay. Oh, all right. Mm. I'll, I'll start with the other one. No. Yeah. No. So yeah. I used to walk barefoot everywhere, and you know, I was. You used to be you homeless. Used to be stupid. <laughs> So I was a little, I was, I was, I was a real smart kid. <laughs> everywhere? No, not everywhere, but like, you know, if it was a short trip, I wouldn't fucking put We're shoes talking on. talking a mile? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were that kid, bro. Yeah, the weird you kid. You were that fucking kid. Like, hey, let's go, hey, Johnny, People let's go to the McDonald's park. are McDonald's. All right. He's walking. Hey, don't you need shoes? What do you no. mean, dude? What Park, are shoes? Park's like a mile and a half away. I'm good. Um, shoes are a social construct. Yeah. But hey, okay. Johnny, didn't you step on like three nails last week? Bro. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. So, I'm walking in this fucking ditch, right? You're great. Right by my wearing shoes. <laughs> You're a ditch. You know, what? Like, hey, I can walk on the street, but there's a fucking ditch right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The ditch next to the With clean road. a bunch of fucking shrapnel oh and, and God, junk. <laughs> and I, I'm just walking, and I step onto a nail. <laughs> and it course. goes completely through my foot. You mm. sound shocked. And, well, yes. Why? And, well, <laughs> You're probably like, oh. oh I oh. thought my, my feet were made of metal. I was expecting this. Well, no. you should know no, better. I was not. I was not. It was tall grass. Hmm. Those in the ditch, damn, yeah. and the okay. board—it was a fucking rusty mm. nail with tetanus probably on it. Did yeah. you get a shot? Yeah, I ended up getting a shot, but okay. the board was connected to my foot. <laughs> you kept and, walking, and I kept walking. Hey, I got a fucking shoe now. I walked with the board, and it wasn't that far. And I went home, and they pulled it out, and Peter Curtin would have came. Oh, super hard. Did you? It, it, I'm actually kind of. Oh, yeah, yeah. Impressed you didn't pull it out yourself, right? Because that's what I mean. As a kid, I'm like, oh, this needs to come out. Of my uh, I'm, yeah. I am shocked that you. Yeah, I tried. I, well, uh, I, I tried, it and it was oh. fucking. It was in there. Yeah, it was yeah. in there. It completely through my foot. Oh, wait, it came out the other side. Yeah. Oh, the top of my foot, my mm. left foot. Nice. So you know, uh, basic blood gushed everywhere, and they, you know, they stuck me in the bathtub. Uh, mm-hmm. Until they could figure out what to do, whether to bring me to the hospital, they knew I was gonna have to get a tetanus shot. But the entire bathtub was blood color, mm-hmm. like blood. In, like the water blood. blood. Oh, like red? Yeah, red, yes. Red, <laughs> like uh, color blood. Blood, blood. <laughs> so that's uh. That's yours. We're yeah. gonna skip the sex. Okay. Um, mine. I was six or seven, I believe. Um, 
just swimming, you know what I mean? Like, I had water wings, like, didn't need them, but had them. Um, you know what I'm what saying? What the fuck are water wings? Yeah, I don't know what uh, those are. You never had, like, inflatable things that went around your arm when you are a little kid to swim? I mean, oh, I just called them floaties. Oh, pussy rings. Water wings. Water wings? <laughs> floaties? Yeah, that's not what? much more. Yeah. Not much better. Floaties? <laughs> Oh, wait. You mean floaties, bro? Bro, floaties were badass. Bro, bro. They just what? made my arms look You're fucking yoked. trying to make it way more yeah. badass. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, water wings? You mean floaties, you <laughs> fucking loser? <laughs> floaties? Yeah. Okay, um, okay. Awesome, whatever. Dude. Inflatable fucking shits around my arm. My dad is... I'm diving for, like, diving rings. Um, With floaties on, bro? Yeah, so, That's like... he kind of okay. counterintuitive. My dad... You thought he was dumb. Let's send... <laughs> my dad would pick me up and throw me under the water, right? So I could get, get oh. it and come, like, pop back up. So he he put a water ring, I'm um, probably a little too close to the side of the pool. Mm. Picks me up full force, dude. <laughs> Just slams you into the fucking... <laughs> slams my forehead into the side of the fucking pool. Are you nice. Sh- are oh. you sure this was an accident? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I, I mean, not convinced. <laughs> not yeah. convinced at all. I'm okay now. Yeah. Yeah. Are you though? Um, blood everywhere, obviously. Mm. The pool's filling with blood. Little kids are screaming. Lifeguard doesn't even know what to do. My mom's asleep. Oh. The, over, she just hears the commotion she's and like, just shut like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. And she's just, no, she's like, what the? You know, she freaked out, obviously, because. Yeah. My dad's holding my body and I'm yeah. just covered in blood. Lifeless right. body. Yeah. After he just picked you up and slammed your face yeah. into the... And <laughs> when his wing got stitches or whatever. But yeah, it's my blood. That explains a Damn. lot. Damn. Yeah. Failed attempt. Huh? How old were you? Uh, I think six. Five yeah. or six. You know what they say about head trauma when you're young at that age? I don't know. That was talking. one of many. Well, I am oh, noticing a lot, a lot serial killers. of soft cum on Nick's shorts right now. <laughs> <laughs> From my own stuff. Yeah. <laughs> From the, all the Can blood. you tell the difference between soft and hard cum? Uh, yeah, yeah, the pattern. Pattern. The pattern. Yeah, that is one displayed on the, the shorts. semen yeah. is a lot yeah, more. We excited. should we should make a Dexter, but instead of a blood pattern, he's a cum p- splatter specialist. Mm. Sean, that's your four, blood four splatter. <laughs> what? You know what I mean? You, what did you watch fuck? Dexter? Yes, of course. I watched he's a Dexter. blood splatter expert, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. A cum spotter expert. Be like, oh, um, I already am that. Rexter. Right <laughs> now? <laughs> Fucking jizzter. <laughs> no. I'm gonna, we're going to start calling you that now. You know Jizzter? that. Jizzter? Jizzter? Hey, here's Sean Moore's I'd, Jizzter. I'd be honored <laughs> if you would call me Jizzter. All right, next podcast right. opening up. Sean Jizzter Morris. I'm actually uh, I'm going to get knighted tomorrow at um, Medieval Times. The Goodwill? Wait. So it's Sir Jister. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You're getting knighted at what? Medieval times. Oh, I thought wait, you said Goodwill. Wait, where? Which Medieval times? Anaheim. That's the saddest thing I've ever heard of. It's life. actually the most fucking badass thing. The fact I've that ever you're heard so you're, of wait, hold on, hold on. You're getting knighted by probably an 18 year old fucking fat kid mm-hmm. Fuck in yeah. the valley. Who's That's going, your oh, fucking. It's your Majesty to you, bro. All right, back oh. away from the mic. <laughs> and, wait, wait, is there so, actually? You can. You're obviously you're paying for this, which is forty bucks. I mean, it's a, <laughs> no, it's the worst. What do you what do you need to use this title? You yes. Go job interviews. Yeah, I was knight of the San Anaheim <laughs> medieval fair by a fat eighteen year old kid. You're fucking hired, dude. You're gonna put that on resumes? Yeah. Of course, dude. Oh, people call me people sir. don't call you sir. And you're like, yeah. actually, no. I'm going me. to take my fucking sword and slice part of their fucking face off. Just part. Just part. Just plunge it into their face. Yeah, just so for them to live long enough to know that they've made a mistake. Are you... You're going to be knighted by a plastic sword. It's yeah. not going to be... It, or it's, it's going to be like a replica... It's no, dull. Not sharp. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Grab it and fucking jab mm. yourself in the chest. Because I think it. the whole point of being knighted is that you earned it. So um, like you paid 40 bucks. Yeah. You earned it. Um, and feats, bro. Feats of strength. I'm embarrassed <laughs> for you. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Name three feats of strength that you've accomplished. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> All right, so. Yeah, yeah, we got that. I will call you out if you make something up. I fucking kicked 
a dog in the fucking eye. He no, no, puked. No. It was a bird. <laughs> what? A bird came flying at me one time. I fucking whoops, That's okay. kicked it. Fucking feet of strength. Greg, call PETA. Yeah. Now, uh, hold on. We'll count it. Move on. All right. So I climbed <laughs> on top of a mountain. That's it. <laughs> that's Wait, it. so you once were on a mountain? Yes. <laughs> that's okay. number two. Yeah. Yes. No, absolutely. Nothing else happened. That should actually be count for two, but I'll go you uh, one more. What mountains? Yeah. Mm. Um, like a, me- a hill in Mexico? <laughs> right. Yeah. right. When you were in mm. DJ? That's right. <laughs> it's called Mount Mexico. Uh, mm. 600 right. feet. That's right. So I traversed. It's a big word for you. The rivers of is the uh, Rio Grande get trying to get back in America because they don't want you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Of Mexico, they had the to... creeks. That's right. That wasn't water. That's right. Wait, no. That's your third one. You do not deserve to be knighted. Yeah, at all. Maybe. Well, fucking King Billy said so. It's, it's really weird. All right. <laughs> um, we're we're pushing. We're at an hour, All right. five minutes. Um, we should just have more shit talking banter. That is the funniest part of all this, right? Oh, all right. Sean's giving, <laughs> sorry. Sean's giving me the very serious cut sign. He's so. embarrassed about um, his story. No, I'm, I'm my neck itched. <laughs> <laughs> so next week we're talking about witches. We'll get into that. Any last words, boys? Um, I, I, I don't know anymore. Uh, so <laughs> I just, to, I had, I cut out like three takes they were great. Um, that they, they were found really good. funny and my control issues popped up. I said <laughs> the, the man What's version new? of a witch is a, a penis. We're going to run it back. Gore. <laughs> great. <laughs> Wait, a penis gore? Penis gore. Okay. I was talking about why would, you know, what's the male form of a goddamn witch? That's a, that's not, doesn't even, that's not even funny. It's not, but it's it was not. outrageous the first time. Okay. I said. No, it was stupid. But, Third yeah, time, okay. not but as I funny. I love being stupid. It's just my, no, no, no. You, you, you that's, what's, that's what are stupid. That's what stupid people oh, say. Well, to you, a, you're not being stupid. You just are stupid. And on yeah, that, we will end. Happy. And thank you for listening to the all itch. Right, we dude, hope all bye. your sadistic fucking tendencies were itched out, mm. and uh, you won't have to kill anybody. Don't tonight. jerk off too hard. One day at a time. <laughs>